Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. It's been a long. I need to stop stopping games in the middle of stuff. I need to stop doing that. I need to finish them. At least have like two practice going at the same time instead of trying to like do like five or six. Cause that take forever to get back to the other. But I really did enjoy this game, so I don't know why I stopped for so long. I mean, it has DLC out. I didn't get the DLC though, cause I had no money. <laughs> But it's fine. I also leveled them up a bit too before I started, so. Manually, I like to see my babies grow. We got two working together. Okay, I made her the dancer. This will be useful. I did not know I had such power. Yeah, good for you. Let's see. Let's do more of your lamps. Looks like nobody else has to do it. Here's the result, Professor. Yay. I'm just not there yet. Making strides. Yeah, making him the ultimate warrior of assassin. And, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Battle Mage or something? I forgot I was gonna make him, but I knew I was switching her to, um, Dancer. Oh well. Hey! Oh, am I cursed? <laughs> hey. Hey, Professor. Hey, Professor. She's kinda like scaring people. Okay, she's mean. Hey! Pretty evil person. I'm not, I'm not torture people. Something? Let's hear it. Oh, no, I don't need anything. I was just hoping to talk to you, Felix. When I said you could be near me, I meant on the battlefield. You're pushing it a little too far. You better not start calling me a meal. Oh. You know, I'm not just using you as a stand in for my brother. I don't mean to upset you. But I've come to realize that you two don't have that much in common after all. I don't understand. Why are you hanging around me if not to replace your brother? It's not that I want to be near Emil, but I want to be near you. What? 
How embarrassing. It must sound like I'm coming on to you. Regardless, you've made it clear that you don't want me around. Uh, no. It's not that. Good. Then I'll continue to spend time at your side. What a perplexing creature. <laughs> What's that? Did you say something? Never mind that. Why don't we go out for a nice cup of tea? I can't think of a reason to refuse your invitation, so I suppose I have to accept. Oh, he's smiling. Wait, are they, um, are they a couple? Tell me this. Go into the warrens. Your Highness, I have one more favor to ask. Is this about Gustav again? I have plenty more stories about him. But perhaps it is time for you to speak with him yourself. Oh, it's not about father this time. This time I wanted to ask about you. About me? I mean, I heard all about father last time. But I didn't ask about you. Ah, oh, well... I'm afraid there is not much of interest for me to tell you. Oh, it doesn't have to be funny or interesting. That's not why I'm asking. It's just that I thought I already knew you. But I'm not sure I really do. That day when we were reunited at the monastery, I didn't know what to say to you. So I wanted to prepare some of your favorite food. I thought maybe if you ate something that you liked, you'd cheer up a little. But when I got to the kitchen, I realized I didn't even know what you liked to eat. I see. Well, it's a little hard to say what my favorite is. I just don't really have any strong feelings about food. That said, you're pretty keen on sweet things, right, Annette? <laughs> yes, that's right. I'm at my happiest when I'm digging into a sweet treat. Oh, did you know there's a famous sweet shop in the capital? Yes. It often had long lines outside, didn't it? The castle guards often spoke of it. The sweets were so good. They cost a fortune, but I loved them. When father was still around, we all lived as a family in the capital. Since then, I've had them only a few times. Huh, how I'd love to taste them again. Say, Annette, when this war is over, where will you go? I heard that you were close to Baron Dominic back in the academy days. That's right. But five years ago, my uncle betrayed the kingdom and went over to the Empire side. I reconnected with father, so I'd like to live with my family again, in the capital. Also, if I'm in the capital, I'll be able to see you from time to time, right? Ah, that settles it then. We'll have to get your father working twice as hard. <laughs> Father's at a ripe old age now. I'd appreciate it if you didn't work him too hard. Oh, of course. I will keep that in mind. You got a lot of hot meat in this freaking game, that's for sure. Gilbert. Your Highness, it falls to me once more to instruct you in the ways of battle. It does not befit a leader to fight on the front lines. I would ask that you refrain from such conduct in the future. I have not had to weather your lectures in many a year, and here I thought you were avoiding me. That is a separate matter. You have a duty to consider the value of your own life. Your words ring true, of course. I admit, I was a bit careless out there. However, I have always been a man who is good for nothing but war. To best support our cause, I must carve a path through the battlefield with my own hands. I truly believe that will lead us to victory. Why the dark expression, Gustav? Do my words trouble you so? You remind me of your father. His Majesty once said the same thing more than a decade ago, during the Northern Campaign. In you, I see his manner and I hear his words. You grow more like him with each day's passing. And in you, I am reminded of my failure and my duty to him. I do not wish to speak of that matter. As I said before, I feel no resentment toward you. Even so, you have changed since that fateful day, your highness. 
Perhaps too much. I worry that in your pain, you have locked away your true feelings. Your passion is dulled, and your vigor faded. You want to hear my true feelings, Gustav? Then let me ask you this. Why did you save my life that day? Why did you not allow me to die along with the others? If you truly wish to atone for your sins, then take my life, here and now. You would ask me to perform the unthinkable. You are the future of Fargus. Your kingdom needs you alive. That I was able to save you is my only sense of salvation. Your Highness, I repeat myself. Consider the value of your own life. If you continue risking all, be it on the battlefield or by issuing mad orders such as this, I will be forced to save you from yourself. I see. So, you will continue to protect and serve me, will you? In that case, when I assume the throne, I will order you to work for me in the kingdom. Your Highness, no, please. My father would be happy to see such a day. Perhaps I will ask you to instruct me further in the ways of battle, when that time comes. Ah! If I wish to atone for my sins, I must take your life? Deception has never been your strong suit, Dimitri. Or do you think I cannot see? You must know I would take my own life before I let anyone harm you. So you were still protecting Sergei. What y'all gonna get? You got a Duke nerd bomb, I did. Almost forgot how spooky this place is. I don't know if I can do this alone. No, I've got to. What use am I to anyone if I can't even handle an empty tower? Here goes. The doll from my father must be in there. But I'm too scared to go looking for it. No, no. But that. Ash, what are you doing here? Oh, here, I got this for you. My doll! You went back for it? But why? Your father gave it to you. I know you said you'd throw it away, but you can't just toss out something so important. Did the screen just went back to his no- Oh my god, hold on. Oh, that's some bull crap. How dare it. That's some bull crap that it does that. I don't know why I did that. Sorry about, Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Dang, I didn't know what the- Ash. Thank you. I'm so happy. To be honest, I didn't have the courage to go back in there to get it myself. But thanks to you, I didn't have to. And you're afraid of ghosts, right? Were you okay in there all by yourself? Well, not really. I tried my best not to think about it. My legs shook whenever I did. Oh, poor Ash. You're safe now, I promise. Knock it off, would you? I'm okay now. But I'm glad I could help you and see a smile on your face. Look at me, though. <laughs> a grown man, scared of ghosts. Pathetic, right? No, I don't think that at all. I think you're something special, Ash. You were really brave, and all for me. That wasn't an easy thing to do. I'm in awe of you. Thanks. Maybe there is still hope for me as a knight. Yes, I'll gladly attest to that. I'm sure you'll be a splendid knight. Maybe you'll even outdo my father. Well, that's a frightening thought, comparing me to someone like Gilbert. But it's a happy one, too. It makes me want to work that much harder. Get on them. 
<laughs> okay, that was adorable. <sighs> Still contemplating, I see. Without so much as a word, you've read me through and through. Since last we spoke, I've been thinking a lot about my future. How I want to spend my life. It's a lot to think about, and I haven't entirely sorted out where I'm going. I think I need more time to grow. On the contrary, you have given this honest and sincere thought. I am quite impressed, actually. You're impressed with me? Worry about the future is not unique to youth. It is human nature. At the risk of being overbearing, might I offer you one more piece of advice? Of course. Have you considered what your life would be like had you not been born with a crest? Hmm. You suppose that you would have been ordinary? Insignificant? I do not think so. Even without a crest, such a promising young lady as yourself would have a bright future ahead of her. Said it. I... I am not typically inclined to flattery, so I hope you will take my words to heart. Have faith in yourself. If you trade that faith for a misplaced pride in your crest, I will have to reassess your character. I've no intention of doing such a thing. It will take me time and experience, but I will find my path and walk it proudly. I am glad to hear it, Ingrid. Oh, the brother and sister, huh? Yep. She got a little bit more. She needs one more. Brother! Flame, is something the matter? I thought I made it clear that I do not want you meddling in the affairs of me and my friends. I am not quite sure what you are referring to, but I promise you I would never try to stand in your way. It has come to my attention that you have been running about asking people what they think of me. Asking everyone! Well, of course I have. It took me quite some time. But for you, it was well worth the effort. I was able to confirm that you are getting along well with everyone. It was very reassuring. I cannot emphasize enough how embarrassed I was when I found out. And you have caused such a stir for those whom you questioned. Why, one person even said he feared for his life when you cornered him in the dining hall. <laughs> <laughs> the dining hall? Ah! I know the fellow you are referring to. Yes, I've seen the way he looks at you. I recognized in an instant that he had impure feelings for you. As your brother, I took it upon myself to test his resolve. I merely asked him if he was prepared to lay his life on the line for my beloved sister. He is nothing more than a friend. Kindly keep out of my social business in the future. I am happy to see that you are making friends, but you should weigh your options more carefully. Who I befriend is absolutely none of your business. Do you know what they call people like you? Overprotective meddlers. I am no longer a child. Are you incapable of trusting me, even a little? Of course I trust you. But as an elder brother, I have a certain responsibility. As my brother? Obviously. Oh, never mind it. If you'll excuse me. Well, God damn. I feel like how we were a question mark when it's about our age.
Well, let's see about this one. just a problem I must now clean up. Do you know of Arian Road? It is a fortress that also goes by the name of the Silver Maiden. Yep, I heard of it. Yes, I had thought I might have mentioned it before. It is a fortress city that is lauded as the strongest in the kingdom. The land around Arian Road was once entrusted to Count Roe. When he turned to the Empire, the Silver Maiden went with him. Now, one after another, the lords of each region are leaving the Empire at the call of the Eastern Lords. But I am sure the Empire has no plans to relinquish the fortress city, given its strategic position on the front lines of their war with the Kingdom. Unless we can take back Aryan Road, the Kingdom will continually be attacked at its weakest points. I was thinking that we need to deal with it soon, and that we need to investigate the status of the enemy's force, but... Is there a problem? I'm afraid so. We confirmed the troops departed the Imperial capital, headed for Aryan Road. If they are followed by a second and third batch of reinforcements, then the difficulty of taking back Aryan Road will increase exponentially. But that does not mean we are entirely without recourse. I am just at a loss as to when the soldiers will arrive. Let's go. Right away. <laughs> You never cease to amaze. Your answers always bring me joy. Okay, let's gather everyone immediately. We'll begin the war council for the departing troops. Let's do this. Let's take this sucker back. Oh, let's get those. Oh, we got trinkets here. Oh, we surrounded too. Yeah, why is her teacher over there? Yeah, why are those two teachers over right there? That's the most enemies that I can just go bulldozer over. It's cost damage each time, so we probably turn that sucker off. We are just in time. Any later in Aryan Road may have been lost. Her Majesty was right to send me here. Hubert. So, you have come here in command of extra troops from the Imperial Capital. I had hoped to take the fort while it was poorly defended, but now... Well, there is nothing to be done. We must defeat him, and then take Aryan Road. Traps have been set throughout Aryan Road to repel invaders who make it inside. If I remember correctly, there should be devices somewhere that let you deactivate the traps. However, Aryan Road has been in Imperial hands for a while now. They may have changed how things work, but there's no point in dawdling. Let's just make a point to disable any devices we come across. I'll cut through. I'd be honored. Leave it to me. I'm your girl. At your service.
My orders? What's my strategy? What's the plan? Guide me well. Move that back up and use another My duty is your death. Onward. Surprise me. God, I want a flying dragon for Pete's sake. Just that increase. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Damn it, you only got two good. to remember. Huh. Yeah, I hope they're going to be ganging up on the like this. Uh. Uh. Pointless. Could turn the tides. So what if the city so?
your hands and reach you. What's next? Destiny unfurls. be more useful now. Exemplary. For the sake of Edelgard. Huh. Yes, he looked at Felix. Do not look at my character. <coughs> wow, you got a lucky shot in, sucker. No, oh, you're attacking the wrong one, bud. Won't stop here. And ain't bullying Gilgo for some odd reason. I must steal myself. I could learn from that. Ha! Huh, thanks.
those who thought defeating the troops outside the castle first would demoralize the ones within. Not such a bad idea, honestly. But you failed to account for me. Great work. Show. Pointless. Oh yeah, keep focus on Felix. Yeah, kill him. You defeat me. Left. Room to grow. Yay. Destiny unfurls. Oh, he's gonna have to be crazy. Yeah, dodge that. my duty. If I die for this new empire, then I have no Yeah, I should have been more friends with them in the play. It's me. Professor Hanneman. That should take care of the traps.
We're gonna attack from above, dude. Really. I have faith. I swear it wasn't in vain. your weakness. Burn until we meet again. It had to be done. I can't stop. Guide me well. Support. It's our chance to prevail.
Orion Road is a crucial asset to the Empire. You will not pry from our grasp. So come. Man, why are y'all beat up on people that know the girl is killing you in one hit? See, look at that. I won't stop here. Was the only way. I'm gonna let her stay in that corner alley. Next. My age. Green Tree just kill his ass. That's as far as I go. I'll withdraw. For now. Okay. For the people who used to do information freaking videos, I freaking hate you. Cause Hubert was gonna be my way to get into the red, uh, the red, uh, Black Eagles, but some people were saying uh, with wrong information that he was not romanceable. But then I found out he was romanceable. So screw all you who got information. Oh, I think I got this. I got that. I like emo-looking guys like that. And then all of a sudden, I said, "Oh, he's not romanceable." I've never been one to fight to the death. I'll make a graceful exit while I still can. The Empire troops are withdrawing. This is it. 
We failed to get Hubert, but at least we have recaptured Arya Road. Let's clean up the wreckage and return to Garrick Mach. Well done, everyone. The day is ours. Oh, man. Yeah, it was going to be either him or uh, my fighter. I think all of this work is just catching up with me. Just pretend that yawn never happened. By the way, I wanted to thank you for your help with the Aryan Road campaign the other day. You were exceptional. Your leadership was key in taking back Aryan Road safely. We, we all contribute. Indeed, everyone gave their all for victory. I am always being saved by those around me, it seems. It seems that after taking back Aryan Road, many things are changing within the kingdom. Specifically, the lesser lords of the lands surrounding Aryan Road have pledged vassalage to the kingdom. The knights they possess may now be added to the kingdom's army. And if that happens, I would like to leave them in your capable hands. Also, uh, <laughs> my apologies. Here I am, simply throwing one report after another at you. Perhaps. It is certainly true that I have been stuck in my quarters lately, dealing with more official business and other such tasks than ever before. But that is something I have been putting off for far too long. Though it is exhausting, filling in the blanks of five years and several months must be done. I am going to tackle them all, one at a time. That is one small part of my atonement. So, Professor? I have been doing all of the talking, but I assume you came here for a reason. I tend to steal you away to the victory celebration. Steal me away? That seems rather unnecessary. Hmm. A victory celebration, you say? You know, this reminds me of that time I dragged you to the dining hall. Do you recall? Eddie? If memory serves, that was after the mock battle between the houses. It was a wonderful time. We had just finished our mission, and we were invited to join in the celebration. You know, every once in a while, I do long to be part of the group as well. But do you think that it is really acceptable for someone like me to quietly join in the merriment? You really think so? Well, if you insist. Thank you, Professor. Now then, let's go. Together. Oh, I just like killed the girl off. Man. You guys, I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna do like a uh, free mission and I'll return right back to you guys. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>